Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This will be short tech video for this generation of Tacomas. This is 2004 Taco manual transmission, four wheel drive, SR5 with very high miles, I believe 280. She's been used as a surf vehicle. We already introduced her on this channel because we found the video that the owner is lucky. He found me and he wanted have an inspection. And what he didn't know that his radiator was damaged. It was leaking here on the top. And what we discovered together, it was basically almost empty. There was barely any coolant. And there was a danger of overheating. This great engine, 3.4 liter V6, which we see them last half million miles. So at 270, there was a danger that if we didn't watch the gauge, it will blow up and he will overheat. So he was stopping his coolant, probably with water, no coolant, because I caught nice coolant out of it, not to have any mess here. He was stopping it off. I'm installing the new radiator, new radiator cap, and new super long life coolant. But I want to bring something for you to learn from this, what I'm doing here today. Very long time ago, I remember I was working on somebody's 96 taco. I finally diagnosed that the radiator was bad because it was overheating, but only in the certain condition. It will really have to be hot, 100 Fahrenheit, and you have to be driving a lot up and down the hills. I finally diagnosed that it needed a new radiator and it was correct diagnose but then I went to O'Reilly in different place in California it's a while ago I bought the radiator they didn't ask me any question they just sold me one I brought it home and the radiator was too big it will not fit in the vehicle and that's what I will explain in this video. This generation of Tacomas actually has three different sizes of radiators. In my case today, it's the middle size, the medium. You can see it already hooked. It's just hanging. I didn't put the bolts back. There are four bolts. The mounts, it comes with this metal supporting bracket. You are not removing the radiator from it. That comes automatically with it. There are three sizes and when I bought at the time the other one, it was sticking out too much here. You will be not able to close the hood and also the shroud, which will be matching that, will not fit on it. Even the shroud will not clear underneath here for the pipe and so on. So it's a little bit more complicated and I want to save you the headache of calling the store or showing up there. They will sell you one size, not telling you a little detail that they are actually coming in three sizes. Now I will show you how you measure your correct size in your taco. So when you are shopping for the new radiator for this generation, you will grab your measuring tape. And now comes the crucial information. You will measure the core. And that means you will measure between these two lines, not over them, but between. And right now I can see that this one is the measurement for the height 
is 20 and 3 quarts and that was the medium size there is one which comes bigger and one which comes also smaller now we are looking together on the side of the radiator which is towards to the engine so you can see the lower radiator hose connection upper radiator hose connection and I already said it and the experts of you will know that this Tacoma has manual transmission because if it had the automatic there will be two outlets for the cooler of transmission the automatic transmission fluid is being cooled down also through these radiators and there are two outlets now all the radiators which are for sale these three different sizes coming automatically with those outlets and don't worry about it if you don't have those lines from automatic transmission you will just leave it be and that's nothing wrong with it this is what I mean you see this outlet right here there is still the foam on it that was for shipping there is still this cap to protect the dust coming into it here is the other one that is there for the automatic transmission we don't have that option it doesn't matter it will just stay here there's no need to remove it you don't have to be afraid that you will be losing coolant from it or something like that everything is okay as i said i didn't install the four 12 millimeter bolts yet it's hanging there because the radiator and its bracket comes with the hangers what i mean with the hanger i mean these little hooks hopefully you see it right here so basically that helps you with installation when you are installing it you just insert those in the body of the vehicle it hangs there and then you're coming with your four 12 millimeter screws from behind the grill you need the good tools to come through these holes because there's not much space to do it from here not very easy but doable I will say again medium skill and medium tools needed so say goodbye to this fella I think it was original I think it lasted 270,000 miles shockingly it's tired it had enough and it's time to say goodbye and start using that new radiator if you will be doing it yourself just make sure that after installing the radiator hoses and filling the system with the super long life coolant from Toyota then pink one make sure you will bleed the air from the cooling system ran that heater in the cabin confirm you are getting hot air because you need to get rid of air bubbles which were introduced while completely draining the system and installing new radiator I obviously have such video on this channel so if you don't know how that's done you can look it up it's probably called how to bleed air from the cooling system so I hope you find this video helpful about three sizes of radiators you will know where to measure and how to specify the right one I thank you for watching thank you for supporting this channel if you like the video give it thumb up and stay tuned I have way more coming your way soon thank you for watching and have a great day my friend Peter Peter what are you doing oh hi putting these bolts in and this is what I meant you need the tools which will fit <clears throat> in these grill openings 
So the spite effect normally you use, for example, three eighths. These tools are bigger and the socket is bigger. So the 12 millimeter, you just choose one quart and it's easier to get that. Also, the extension should be wobble. I have the light there so I can see there and I'm going through the grill. Even the one quart will not make it through the top. So you use the wobble, you go through the bottom and voila, that's where the bolt is. So it's a little finicky. As I said, not big deal if you have a right tools. This wobble will not really fit through those small openings in that grill. That's a 3-8 size. 